Oh, Katie's on. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Katie. I hope this is working. Um, give me a thumbs up, somebody, if the sound is working on this. Ellen, is this working for you? Oh, yes, yay. Okay, hurry, we're gonna get started. <laughs> All right, hi, everyone. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to Power Flow. Um, I'm Amy. This is Power Flow, right? Yeah. <laughs> cool. Um, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you, everybody out there. Um, we're gonna get started in Why Lady Child. So when you're ready, just go ahead and come on down to your mat. Big toes touching, knees out to mat width. And take some slow deep breaths. We are going song music in this class, but feel free at home to turn on your own tunes if that would support your practice. I'll invite you just to close your eyes wherever you are that feels comfortable. And as you start to tune into your breathing, we'll all start to join together with a nice even rhythm to our breath. So take a big inhale here. And through your nose, breathe all the way to the bottom of your breath. We'll inhale, two, three, four, hold. Exhale, two, Three, four, hold. Inhale, two, three, four, hold. Exhale, two, three, four, hold. Inhale, two, three, four, hold. Exhale, two, three, four, hold. Two more rounds on your own. Let your breath return to its own natural rhythm. And slowly begin to rise up to your tabletop position. So we'll find our way in hands and knees, fingers are nice and wide. And as you inhale, cow pose, lift your head, tailbone up and drop. And then exhale, cat pose, press the mat away around your spine. And then inhale again to your cow pose, head and tailbone lift. And then exhale, cat pose. Do this four more times at your own pace. And feel free to close your eyes and add in any additional movements that might feel good in your shoulders, your hips, and spine. At the end of your next cycle of breath, come back to stillness in your tabletop position. And we'll all meet there from the toes. Lift your knees to a hover just a few inches off the mat. And then think of bringing a slight tuck of your tailbone into your low back and draw your navel toward your spine. And wrap your shoulder heads back toward your outer hips. Kind of like you're plugging into the armpits. Hold it three for five, four, three, two, on one. Keep your knees bent. Push your chest back toward your thighs. Nice low crouch here. Long time to inhale. Exhale, downward face it up, lift your hips up and back, and take a little easy movement if that would feel good in your body. Curling up the feet, turning your head from side to side. Find your way back to stillness, and on an inhale, take an easy walk toward the top of your mat. Come to rag up. A little space between your feet, but a bend in your knees. Maybe hold on to opposite elbows as you sway from side to side. And the head hang heavy. And the 
Inhale, find stillness. Exhale, release your elbows. Toe heel, your feet to touch. And very slowly, right all the way up to stand. Backing one bone at a time. As your head rises over your hips, inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead, look up. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center, let the eyes close or the face soften. Take a few moments here. Use your mind, do something to focus on and intention. Awesome. Well wishes for our community, our community at large. Whatever it is that speaks to you like to carry with you through this practice this morning. Together we'll all join in with an inhale. Very slow exhale. Softly when your eyes open and we'll reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, pop up. Exhale, find your one step back to your plank pose. We'll pause here and plank, shoulders right over the wrist, and fingers spread nice and wide. Start to rock forward and backwards, pushing off your toes. Imagine your body kind of sliding across the tabletop so your tailbone stays tucked, your abs engaged. You're rocking forward and backward for three, forward and backward for two, forward and backward for one, and stay forward on your next inhale. As you exhale, drop your knees. Lift your feet, point to toes, shift for a half chaturanga, hug your elbows in, hold here for three, for two, all the way down on one, straighten the legs, press down to the tops of your feet, inhale, baby forward, lift your heart, cover your hands, one hand, top of your head. Good, exhale, lower down. And I inhale, tuck your toes, press up through your heels, exhale, navel to spine, plank pose. And then downward facing dog, take a full breath in. And a deep breath out. And a big inhale. Full exhale. And one more time to get deep breath in. As you exhale, bend your knees, look forward, take an easy walk or float to the top of your mouth. And a long spine on your inhale. Exhale, fold long over your legs. Inhale, rise up, reach up. Exhale, bring hands to heart. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat up. Exhale, plant your palms and once again, step back to your front hand pose. And this time you're going to pivot your heels to the right and sweep your left arm. So a little side plank with that left foot staggered in front of the right foot. Little hip dips, tipping your down and up, down and up, down and up for three. Sitting down for two and up, and down and up for one. Stay lifted, big inhale. Exhale, come back to your plank pose. Inhale, shift forward to your tippy toes. Exhale, shift Inhale. Big breath in. Full breath out. Inhale, shift forward, plank. Exhale, let your hips dip over to the left. That right arm comes up. Stagger your right foot forward in the side plank, the hip dips up and down, up and down, good, up and down, up and down for three, for two, for one, inhale, keep the hips lifted, come back to plank pose as you exhale, inhale, shift for to your tippy toes, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, up dog, or cobra, exhale, downward facing dog, good, big breath in, full breath out. Steady inhale. Slow exhale. One more time, deep breath in. Exhale, bend your knees, look forward. Inhale, walk or lightly float to the top of your mouth. Come into your flat back. Exhale, pull long over your legs. Inhale, rise up, reach up. Exhale, bring hands to heart. Inhale, reach. Exhale, hold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, chaturanga. This time, step or float back. Good. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Down dog twist. Walk your knee over as wide as your mat. Shorten your stance by a bit here. 
Converting your heels all the way down the floor. Reach your left hand back for your right ankle or other half and twist. Look up underneath your right arm to the ceiling. It's one swing to the right here, so hug that right hand in toward your left inner thigh. And then pull with your left arm, take one more big breath in. And one more full breath out. In the left hand down, exhale, switch sides, right hand reach the cross. Push that outer left leg somewhere between your ankle and the thigh. Gaze up under your left armpit. Pull with that right arm. Hug your left hip in. One more big breath in. Full breath out. Inhale, right hand down. Exhale, readjust to a more comfortable down dog. Take a full inhale. And steady exhale. Then knees look forward. Inhale, walk or lightly close to the top of your mat. Exhale, hold long over your legs. Now inhale, rise up, reach up. Exhale, Tadasana Mountain, just relax your arms, close your eyes, take a big inhale. Slow exhale. Eyes open for chair for the big toes touch. Sit nice and low, sweep your arms up your ears. Get a little more weight next to your heels, so your toes get light. Squeeze your inner knees together. Go ahead and press your feet down and out toward the outer edges of your mat. Which will squeeze your knees together even more. <laughs> okay, so I want you to really feel your outer hips turn on. And that's when you can rip them out and half of that down and that will pressure your feet. Maybe your butt drops a little bit lower. Maybe your heart lifts a little higher. Take one more big inhale. Exhale, hold. Good. Inhale, up. Exhale, chat around. Go straight to down. Step back or float back. Which you guys can see these still backs in here. The beautiful inhale, up top. Exhale, downward facing. Now bring your big toes to touch. Inhale, float the right leg up. Exhale, step forward, the lunge. Inhale, high lunge, rise with your breath. As you exhale, bend back and practice your arms going nice and low. But inhale, come back up. Exhale, hands to mat, step back to plank pose. Inhale, shift forward to your tippy toes. Exhale, lower all the way to your belly. Touch down, lunge up your toes. Interlace your hands up in the back of your head with elbows wide. Inhale, lift everything up. Chest up, legs up, head up. Elbows lift up a little higher. Press your hands into your head, your head into your hands. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Take one more inhale, rising up. Exhale, lower down the hands under your shoulders. Tuck your toes, press up through your heels. Inhale, plank pose, navel to spine. Exhale, downward facing up. Big toes touch, inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step forward, low lunge. Inhale, high lunge. Rise up, breath. Carry some to your left foot. Can you switch the level for a second? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Exhale, bend the back and go up, practice your arms. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, hands down, through the foot. Inhale, plank pose, step back. Exhale, lower to the top around the top. And hold drop the knees if you need to do three. Two, one, inhale, up dog. Good, exhale, down dog. Is this like part of the move? Big breath in. <laughs> and full breath out. Again, big inhale. Full exhale. And one more time, deep breath in. Exhale, bend your knees, look forward on the inhale, step or foot to the top of your mat, and into your papa. Exhale, fold long over your legs. Inhale, straight to chair pose, hold. Interlace your fingers overhead, so the palms. Inhale, arch of the kasana, hover your chest just an inch above your thighs. Press your palms toward your tailbone back. Try to get your knees right over your heels. Squeeze the inner thighs, lift the toes, start them wide. Good. One more big inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, chat up the center foot or skip it and go straight back to down dog. Inhale, up dog, if you're long. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big toes touch on the inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, low lunge, step forward. Inhale, high lunge, rise with breath. Exhale, cactus your arms, bend back knee, pause. Keep your back knee bent, tuck your toe and squeeze your left glutes. And then push that upper left thigh bone forward in the hip socket. Twist to your right. 
Widen your arms, reach back through the right fingertips, forward through the left fingertips. Hold it, and we're gonna take some little pulses up and down. Up and down, up and down for three, for two, for one, inhale, high lunge, left wind, straighten the back leg. Exhale, warrior two, you got kiss in the back. Inch your right to a squirt, come a little bit lower into your legs. And we're gonna to start to slide forward, reaching the right fingertips forward, and then slide backward. Reaching the left fingertips back. And so this movement's really coming from your rib cage, reaching right forward, reaching left hand backward, reaching right hand forward, reaching left hand backward. One more time in each direction, reach forward, reach backward, stay here, drop the left palm, inhale, reverse for your right palm, reach up and back. Feel that nice pinch to the left side waist, recommit to the bend in your front knee, take a big inhale. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down, tie around up or down the face of the dog. Inhale, up top, in your palms. Good, exhale, downward face of the dog. Big toe touch, inhale, the left leg lifts. Exhale, low lunge, step forward. Inhale, high lunge, rise with breath. Good, exhale, cactus the arms, bend the back knee, you're gonna stay here. Tuck your toe, squeeze the right glutes, good, then twist. To your left, extend your arms to a T. Left fingertips reach back, right fingertips reach forward, hold static, or hold close to up and down. Good, so you're still stabilizing with those right foot squeezing. Hug your outer hips in. Three, two, one. Inhale, high lunge, straighten the back leg, arms come up. Exhale, warrior two, back heel. Okay, so take a moment here, and then once again, that movement from the rib cage. Inhale, reach forward from those left fingertips. And good, exhale, reach back to the right. Slide it forward. Slide it backward. Loosen up that fascia forward. And backward and one more time. Keep the legs exactly as they are, just moving from the ribs. Stay back, inhale, reverse warrior. Right hand down, left arm sweeps up and down. Facing into that left palm, breathe into the left ribs. Then take one more big inhale. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down, chaturanga. Go straight to your downward facing dog. Big breath in. And full breath out. Two more times. Big inhale. Full exhale. Give it all one space. Let's get hot here. Last big breath in. On your exhale, bend your knees, look forward, inhale, walk our leg, we go to the top of your mat. Exhale, fold long over your legs. Hopefully, y'all can still hear me with this hand on. Inhale, turn close to the low, arms up. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Inhale, lengthen your spine, exhale, twist to your right. Left elbow looks to that outer right knee, your head, that right palm presses down, pull your heart up. Okay, now really squeeze your knees together. That left knee wants to pop forward, try not to let it. As you cover your left elbow one inch, pop that right knee your thigh. Yeah, good. We're going to take one more big inhale. Full exhale. Inhale back to chair pose, arms up, stay in the legs. Exhale, hands to the right center. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist to your body. So start with a closed twist. Your right elbow's on that left knee your thigh. Press your left palm down, pull your heart up. Watch that right knee popping forward, squeeze the knees together, good, and then hover your right elbow one inch. Keep pressing your left palm down for leverage. Stay mid, stay low, stay in that twist. Take one more big breath in. One more full breath out. Inhale back to chair pose, arms up. Exhale, fold forward, straighten the legs. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, up, pasana, pro pose, or yogi squat. So you can either turn your feet out to match it. Toes out, heels and hands to the heart. Or plant your hands with hips lifted and your feet together. Your knees come to the triceps. You're going to look forward, shift forward, and then maybe one or both of you come off the foot. So up in between your shoulder blades and your coat, kind of zip up between the inseams of your feet. So your heels and your feet pull out the neck. And lift it, look forward. One more full breath for everyone, and we're going back to downward facing dog. Take one more big inhale. As you exhale, step or pull back. Chaturanga, inhale up dog. Exhale, meet. In downward facing dog, take a couple of extra breaths if you need to get there. Inhale, 
full exhale. Big toes touch, inhale, flip the right leg up. As you exhale, knee to nose, down and center. Good, inhale, up and back. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, right knee, left elbow, fall in triangle. Keep your right foot through. Spin your left heel down, sweep the left arm up. Wiggle your right foot forward, and then see if you can maybe pushing into that right palm, pushing into your left foot, float that right leg off the ground. Maybe reach down with your left knee, so you're to find the big toe, and maybe pull that foot up towards the ceiling. Pressing the mud away, and breathing here, take one more big inhale. Full exhale, inhale, down dog, split left hand down, right leg up and back. <laughs> exhale, warrior two, right foot steps forward, left heel spins down, and your arms sweep up wide. Settle in for a breath, maybe it towards right toes forward to sink down. Extend it side, inhale, reach out, elbow to your hand like inside the foot, and that left foot reaches forward, bicep up right here. So here, take a half line, full line, over. Legs, as it's in your practice. You're taking the full bind, your right hand is either touching your left hand or right hand is touching the left wrist. Wherever you are, you're rolling that left shoulder back, you're lifting your heart, stretching your chin away from your sternum. Beautiful, for you can see about the corner of my eye, you too graceful and lovely. <laughs> One more breath if you're up. Slowly start to make your way back down. On an inhale, I'll meet in warrior two. Exhale, straighten the front leg. So heel toe that back, but in once or twice if you need. Inhale, reach long over the right leg. Exhale, right hand down, left hand stacks on top. Gaze is up to that left hand if it doesn't bother your neck. Otherwise, just look straight forward toward the wall. Scoop the right hip under and spiral your right ear high up towards the ceiling. See if you can find a little more length as you look with that right arm forward, palm face up. Big inhale. Full exhale. Inhale, come all the way up, arms to a T. Exhale, feet parallel, Ooh, and hands to your hips. Inhale, lift the heart up. Exhale, wide legged forward, fold. Hands come down in between your legs, shoulder width apart. And you're welcome to start bending your elbows and walking your fingertips back in line with your toes, or turn your hands around and start to walk your hands away from your body, drawing your torso through your legs. Yeah, find that front edge of your balance. Shifting your weight for the toes a bit. And keep it really active, so press down to the outer ends of your feet. And then scoop your low belly, engage the low abs and hip flexors. Take one more big inhale. Exhale. Inhale, rise up halfway. Hands come under the shoulders. Exhale, close your lunge. Drop your knees toward the front of your mat. You'll feel that right foot high. I think it's still recording. Set your left knee down and untuck your toes. Okay, here I just was for you after last week. I totally like went on the whole side of the three and five. I'm not going to not do that today. You're welcome to stay up here on your forearms or drop down to one elbow or two. And you can also add a revolve variation. If you have a revolve variation, it helps to start from straight arms, bend your left knee, sweep your right arm back, catch the outer edge of that left foot, and sort of pull your heel toward your butt. And then from there, if the back quads and the are going to agree with you today, you might drop down to that left forearm. You want to turn your right toes out to the side if you can, and if your hip loves it, you heel to the pinky toe out of that foot, and with the thigh roll up toward the ceiling, go for it. Shine your heart up toward the ceiling wherever you are, turn away from the chest, stretch the throat. Out. And release that left foot if you have, bring your right hand back down inside the foot, and point your right toes forward, tuck your left toes and lift the knee. Step forward into a new squat. Close turn out heels and chin. Hands come up to the heart. From here, you're going to lift your hips up to the height. Good. And then you interlace your fingers behind the back of your head. Good. And then hover your chest parallel to the floor. And draw your ankles toward your spine. Press your hands into your head. Your head into your hands. 
hands and lift your elbows up to the height of your hands. So you can stretch towards the crown of your head and push back through your tailbone. Press your feet down and out until you feel your glutes inspire. Hold it for you for five, four. Keep your hands behind your head as you exhale. So feel your feet to touch. And pull your chin down toward your chest now. Hug your elbows in toward the side of your face. Give yourself a little neck stretch. Keep your heart lifting up toward your chin. Big breath in. Full breath out. Inhale, head up, elbows wide. Exhale, arms by your sides. Inhale, chair pose to the bow. Sweep your arms up at your ears. As you exhale, fold forward and straighten your legs. Inhale, rise up to your tippy toes and exhale, squat down onto your heels. Split your knees, bring your hands to the insides. Okay, so from here you have two options. I'm just gonna hop back to give some space to everybody in here. So if I can walk forward into the Malasana forward fold, or if you're gonna try baby crow, which is inarguably to me <laughs> the most awkward pose in all yoga. So you're gonna you're gonna try this. You're gonna walk your elbows back and really dump your arms into your shins. Spread your fingers wide, shift toward your face is gonna come like a centimeter from the floor, then you point your toes, and then there's this little sense of buoyancy here by pressing into your palms. So once you're in it, if you're in it, yeah. Just trust that you're going to be like just right on the mat. Yeah, once you're in it, if you're in it, you go the little pulses, press down. Yeah. So working a little stabilizing muscle, I know, feels so strange. <laughs> yeah. Lava yourself. Three, two, one. Toes down, press into your hands from back up. <laughs> Good. Bend your palms step back. Plank pose. Take a big inhale. As you exhale, lower all the way down to your belly. Don't worry, we're going to get to the other side. But before we do, untuck your toes, straighten your legs. Take your arms out wide to the T. Okay. Turn to rest on the left side of your face. Yeah, so you're resting on the left side, looking to the right. Right hand comes under your right shoulder. Bend your right knee. Press them out away. Prone shoulder stretch. I think you're like the only person without some kind of space right now. You always take the back. If you want to, you can break that right arm on your back. Sadly, we're not here for like a super long time. Yeah. Right, that variation you're getting is so cool. Did you need to do that? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Release your right foot. Just scary. Not like anybody else. Unless you're doing that. Okay, rest your head on the ground. Yeah. Good. And breathe. <laughs> Couple more breaths. If you can see here, he was like reaching back, holding this foot, and then doing this, which actually works. It's good. You can keep your head on the ground, feel free to hold on to that right foot. We may have to be close. Okay. Sure, sure, yeah, let's make it up. Okay, one more big inhale. As you exhale, slowly release, roll onto your belly. And we'll switch sides. That right arm's going to go wide. You're going to rest on the right side of your face. Left knee bends, and that left hand is resting on that way. Bring your left arm behind your back if you want. You can do the gear. Reach down and touch your left foot. <laughs> Just make sure that your head is resting if you do. You don't want your neck working. And breathe. Very slowly take one more big inhale. Steady exhale. Slowly release, unwind back to your belly. Bring both hands under your shoulders. Tuck your elbows in and pinch your shoulder blades together with your heart. Tuck your tailbone. Tuck your toes. Press up your hips. Firm your legs. We're going to push up to the chaturanga. So on an inhale, push up and hold. Exhale, stay here. Inhale, push up and plank pose. Hold. Exhale, stay here. Inhale, push your hips up and back to downward facing dog. And as you exhale, really from the root down through your heels, let your heels be heavy. Take a cleansing breath. Inhale, open mouth. Big toes step. Inhale, the left leg lifts. Exhale, knee to nose down the center. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, left knee, right elbow, fall in triangle. Keep your left foot through, spin your right foot 
Exhale, sweep your right arm up. Work the left foot forward a little bit and then maybe push into that right foot and left hand to float that left leg. You might bind your left toe with your right piece here and then pull that foot up for the ceiling bit. Hold it, breathe, stay with it. Lift the hips one more big inhale. Full exhale, inhale down, bust the right hand down, left leg up and back. Exhale, warrior two, left foot forward, right heel down. <laughs> Arms out wide, so you can take a moment here just to settle in. Maybe widen your stance. Extend the side angle when you're ready to reach out. Elbow to knee, right hand inside your foot. Right arm reaches forward, bicep right here. Half that full line or bird paradise if you can go on the first side. Just a little note on binds here as you practice. So if you go into your bind halfway and you're already starting to dump down for the floor, that right shoulder kind of caves in, then you might just want to keep that and extend it. If you go into the full variation, same thing. You start to come into a forward fold, stick with the half variation. You want your body nice and open for the side of the room, from whatever bind you choose to take. Crown heads. And then slowly start to make your way back down. Good. On an inhale, I'll rise to even warrior two. Exhale, straight in front leg. Maybe shorten your stance. Inhale, reach long. Exhale, drop the hand. Just let it land where it wants to. Your body tends to know a lot more than your mind does. Lean your shoulders back into an imaginary wall. Really reach out to the end of that right arm. See if you can find a little more length in your left arm to your left hip crease. For our last breath, if you want to float that left arm forward and hover it on the face up. Big inhale. Big exhale. Inhale, rise up, arms wide to the seat. Exhale, hands to your hips. Feet parallel. So your toes are a little narrower than your heels when your feet are truly parallel. Lift your heart up. As you exhale, hold halfway and pause. Inhale, send your arms out like to the And pause. Spread your fingers wide. Draw your heels toward your spine. Pull your fingers into the back body. And shift, and shift a little more right forward toward your toes. Feel your hamstrings higher. Good. Squeeze your foot. And see if you can press down and out those outer edges of the feet. Feel your outer glutes fire. Three. Two on one, catch the outer shins, catch the outer ankles, or bind your big toes. That's where you're going to have to D. Using that bind to draw your foot, like drawing your shoulder blades together, a little shoulder blade retraction. And the head is heavy, so that the cervical spine is a nice deep compression in your head. Now you turn your head side to side, that feels good. Big breath in, full breath out. Inhale, lift up halfway, release your body, hands from under the shoulders. Exhale, walk towards your lizard lunge. And the left toes point toward the front of the mat, and grab the ball of that back foot as you set the right knee down and then left toes. Your face. So once again, you can stay up on straight arms or drop down to your forearms, maybe one, maybe two. If you're going to throw a ball variation, stay up for a moment as you bend that right knee. Sweep your left arm back into the outer edge of your foot. Pull your heel toward your bum and then decide if it's available to you today to come down onto that right forearm. Listen to the right hip flexors. Maybe turn your left toes out to the side of it. Maybe come into the pinky toe edge of your foot. Roll your heart up, stretch your chin away from your chest. Big breaths. Slow inhale, even slower exhale. If you have that foot, slowly release it. Inhale, high with your lunge, straight arms, right toes up and knee lifts. Step forward to your yogi squat, toes turned up, heels pinched in, hands come up to the heart. Okay. So just notice the difference here between sinking in your flexibility, like dumping down with no effort. An effort by pressing your palms together, pressing your elbows into your knees, lifting your heart, and pinching your shoulder blades together on one inch out of where you feel confident. So one inch higher. Press the feet down and out. 
feel more weight in the outer edges of your feet. And then see if you can hover your elbows two inches in front of your knees or shins. And you can do a just go like whoop and come out. No? That's your hands. Squeeze your butt. Yeah, I just love your butt. Bye. Now, we need a million people just for you. Three Take one more slow inhale, very slow exhale. Chin toward the chest, hands to your heart. Set your right foot down, relax your arms, give your hips a little wiggle. And just take a nice concentration. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Good inhale, flat back. Exhale, bend your palms, turn around, up or straight to down. Now step back or flow back. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Big breath in. And full breath out. Big toe stretch. Inhale, the right leg lifts. As you exhale, take your right knee to your right tricep. Point the toes. Slide your right hand down to hover behind that right wrist. The chin bone hovers off the floor for three. Two, on the lunge with your right foot toward your left foot. Lower the shin bone down. Or your left foot. Lower the chin bone down. Wiggle your left foot back, untuck the toes, and then walk your hands back outside your hips. Think of squeezing your right knee toward your left knee. So it's like you're backing up in between your legs, so much so that maybe your hips lift up. And you really feel the glutes and the hip flexors fire. You can keep your fingertips down or turn your palms out to the sides. So you them up and overhead, bring your fingertips to touch, keep the palms separated, and maybe look up toward that little basket you created with your hands. Keep squeezing right knee toward left knee for three, two, and one hands down. Resting half pigeon, walk it forward. If this isn't working for you, feel free to come onto your back or to your seat. You can recline in your four or a seated pigeon pose. Gently mm -hmm. down to your one that you guys can't see it in the middle. And just be where you are here. If you can reconnect that slow rhythm of four counts breathing in and four counts breathing out.
one more slow breath in. One more slow breath out. And on your next inhale, slowly begin to rise. Walk your hands and sit all the way over to that right hip. Swing your left leg around for a seated spinal twist. Left foot comes out to the right knee. Straighten this bottom leg. That will make you feel more comfortable. Left hand behind your left hip. Right arm reaches up. Big inhale. Exhale, twist to your left. Look your right elbow outside the knee. Turn your head back over that left shoulder. And if you have a bind here, feel free to take it. Spine long as you inhale. Twist as you exhale. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to twist. And one more time. Big breath in. And full breath out. And I inhale. Unwind the cervical spine first. So turn your head to look forward. And as you exhale, unwind the rest of your spine. You take this left foot, place it to the inside of your right knee. And then reach down and interlace your fingers under the arch of your foot for the heel. Start to lift that left shin bone up. You can start with the knee bent at 90 degrees and then if it's in your hamstrings, straighten out the leg. And you might want to bend your knee and straighten the leg a few times. Some dynamic movement. And then when you feel ready to hold, turn pose, point those left toes, draw your shoulder blades down your back, lift your heart up. Calm. And this is a wonderful place to stay if this feels right for your body, or you're going to bend that left knee and take it back to that outer left arm. Sling your left arm up and over your left shoulder and head down. And then bring your left hand down outside your left hip, right hand down outside your right hip. Okay, we're going to go toward the ankle pose, but first we're going to straighten out that right leg. Push down the palms, and then maybe lift that right leg up. So just do a little move on the chin up here, and then back down. You can stay with that, or you're going to hook your right ankle on top of your left ankle. Yes, squeeze your right knee toward your left knee. So clamp around that left shoulder, push down with your butt up, straighten your legs, actually across the angle, squeeze your thighs around the left arm, gaze to the toes, so looking to the left. And then you can stay there, or you're going to unwind by pulling that right leg through, shifting forward, Kundanyasana, Chaturanga, a dog, boom, dog. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll all be back in downward facing dog in five, <laughs> four, three, two, however you want to get there. Um, the big back over the nose. Oh, no. Bring your big toes to touch. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, left knee toward left tricep. Point the toes, slide your knee down the hover of your left wrist. Pause here, work the strength of your abs and your shoulder control free. To unlock, click your left foot toward your right wrist. Set the shin bone down. Wiggle the right toes back, untuck them. Walk your hands back outside your hips. So first, we're active here. Squeeze your knee toward your knee. Zip up between your legs and literally see if you can lift your palms away from the floor. Fingertips can stay down or arms come up and overhead. Fingertips connect, palms separate. Gaze goes up. And breathe. One more big inhale. And exhale slowly. Let your arms waterfall down. Walk them forward. Resting half pigeon to the forearms or forehead or onto your back or reclining with your core. We're seated for a seated pigeon pose. We're crossing that left ankle above your right knee. You're taking one of those variations. Find some surrender here. Make the elbows can walk a little wider. Maybe you can soften the space between your shoulder blades.
one more very slow breath in. One more very deep breath out. Your next inhale, so we begin to rise, sit over to your left hip. So your right leg around the seated spinal twist. Right hand behind you, left hand reaches up, hook your left elbow out to the right knee, and turn back on the left right shoulder. This arm behind you is like a second spine here, so press down into it to sit really tall, big inhales, and exhale twist. So looking back over that right shoulder, big inhale to lengthen. And big exhale to twist. And one more time, deep breath in. And deep breath out. And inhale, unwind your cervical spine first, look forward. And then exhale, unwind the rest of your spine. Bring your right foot to the inside of your left knee. Interlace your hands under the arch of that foot or underneath the wall. Pick the foot up and start with your heel. Let knee height, see how the hamstrings are feeling, and maybe straighten out your leg. And you might bend the knee and straighten it a few times to the side. And then once you feel steady and ready, maybe you just straighten out all the way. So really tall, put your shoulder blades together. Back body working hard to stay lifted. Good. And so again, you can stay here. We'll pick this at the eight angle pose. Pulling that right knee back for the outer armpit. We'll bring that right leg over your right shoulder. Hand comes down outside the hip. Left hand outside left hip, and then start by straightening out that left leg. Push into the palms, lift your butt up, and then maybe you lift the low belly and flex your strength and lift that left heel up. And pull for three, two, and one. Come back down for an ankle. Lift your left ankle, flip it over your right. Squeeze your left knee toward your right knee. Clamp. So, like, we're going to get those knees together, like, hand shell pose up. Press into your palms, lift your butt up. Kick your legs out straight, bend your elbows, look at your toes. Stay here or pull the feet back in. Slip that left leg through the moon vinyasana, straighten out the legs. Swing that right to first. Tap it under the head, inhale up dog. Yeah, exhale down dog in five, four, Three, however you want to get there in two. One, big breath in. Open mouth. Bend your knees, look forward, inhale, walk or flip into your seat. Butterfly pose. Come oh, stretch. So let's look at you guys, Molly's up at the clock, like, please. <laughs> that was almost the over. Okay. When I get stressed, guys, I take really far class. <laughs> Three more breaths. 
On your next inhale, slowly rise up. Staff pose, feet flexed, arms forward, sit really tall, everything working. Press down through the thighs, lift the kneecaps, big inhale. Exhale, slowly lower down five. Scoop the belly, four, three, two, and one. Come all the way down, take a full body stretch. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. Press your feet forward the opposite direction. And as you exhale, tuck your knees into your chest. Give yourself a quick squeeze. From here, we'll set up for three rounds of back bends. Feet come to the floor, heels nice and close to your sit bones, arms are by your sides. Come on and inhale, bridge pose, lift your hips up. Feel free to take an early heel if you want it. Tuck your shoulders under, interlace your fingers and press your forearms down. We'll watch the belly rise and fall with breath. Inhale, lift a little higher. Exhale, slowly lower down. Untuck your shoulders, relax your arms. Big inhale. Big exhale. Now, wheel pose if it's in your practice or back to bridge. So, if you're taking a wheel, lift your hands around, fingers through space, and heels. Get your heels nice and close to your butt. And as you inhale, push up. If you're going into wheel pose, see if you can use the strength of your leg, especially to lift it. And let the weight of your head hang down and wheel. And then one more inhale to rise up. And then exhale, slowly lower down to your chest. You're coming from wheel pose. Once you're down, take a big breath in. Full breath out. On an inhale, third and final back and bridge or wheel. When you're ready, back. See if you can still keep a nice even breath. Maybe you can press your chest back through the arm bones of your heel. If you straighten out those arms and lift from the back of your heart. One more breath and rising. Exhale, slowly lower down. And then tuck your knees into your chest. Give yourself a nice tight squeeze and rock from side to side. And come back to stillness. Take your arms to a cactus shape, palms space up, knees drop right. Turn your head to the left. And soften. And inhale back to center. Exhale, knees to the left, head to the right, and soften. Inhale, come back to center. Tuck your knees into your chest. Give yourself a nice tight squeeze. And as you exhale, either stretch your body out long or shavasana. Which is a little time here to self practice and the version of your choosing. And it's counter poses. Those of you at home, this is the beauty of not being in the studio, right? If you can shavasana, you can like take an hour long now. <laughs> <laughs> You can like move around and then bring versions if you want at home. Use a ball, hopefully, be safe. Don't hurt yourself. Okay. Maybe we'll do a little tour here with this uh, live stream on Instagram. I'll show you some beautiful versions in the room. Christy, I hope you're okay with this. <laughs> Do I have your look at that form? <laughs> no pressure. Very awesome. It's pretty awesome. 
Jonathan's coming out of headstand. And This is a time when Shavasana is perhaps the greatest struggle of your yoga practice, this detachment from awareness, uh, resting in the essence of your being. You might use this time in the quiet to very slowly scan through your body Starting in the back of your head and traveling toward your heels just to notice where your body comes in contact with what's solid beneath it. As you notice each and every one of those meeting points, see if you can allow that solid ground, that earth, below you to hold you. This place of rest, this spike of calm. This place that each and every one of us has within us, all times. And knowing you can always return to this place, and it's always there for you, for us all. Your own time once again, maybe in an hour, maybe in another 10 minutes if you're in this space and have the time, you can slowly find your way up to your seat. And if you don't have to rush off, those of you in this room, please feel free to stay. I'll get you up from this rest in about a minute. Thank you all, everyone. Thank you.